Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad and in this tutorial we are going to learn about the CSS3 transformation. In CSS3 there are two types of transformation that is 2D transform and 3D transform. In this tutorial we are learning about the 2D transform and in the next tutorial it will be the 3D transform uh, tutorial. So with transformation we can change the uh, size, shape and position of an element. In this tutorial we are learning about these uh, two properties and that is the transform uh, property and the transform origin property. So transform can take these values rotate, translate, the scale, skew and matrix. And transform origin can take left, right, center, center is by default and top and bottom. We will learn about these values one by one in a little while. Please keep the tutorial up to last. Okay, now I will comment these value, these uh, two properties and we will learn about these uh, two properties in a little while one by one. For this purpose I have taken uh, an element because we will be uh, changing this ele an element and as an element I have taken this div in, inside a div inside the div I have taken h1 tag uh, simple uh, h1 tag I have styled this div as uh, margin top equal to 150 pixels the width and height uh, the same as 200 pixels background is blue and I have made it display equal to inline block because uh, I want to center it uh, in the body and I made the body for that purpose as text align equal to center. Let me show you the view and you can see I am refreshing and this is the div. Now I will apply the transform property on this element on the div. <coughs> and uh, rotate is the first value by rotate we can rotate this div with rotate uh, value we can uh, rotate an element and we will uh, assign these some values in degree so i write 20 degree and let me refresh you can see 20 degrees in clockwise direction is rotated has rotated the div if I want to write, uh, if I want to uh, rotate in counterclockwise direction, I will just write a minus 20 degree, and you can see in counterclockwise direction the rotation. Similarly, I will apply now the translate. But let me refresh first, and translate can take x and y values in pixels form. So uh, translate, I will translate uh, moves uh, an element from its position to an assigned position. So we will assign 20 pixels on the x axis to the right and it will be the same. I would like it to be the same. You can see y is 0 and y axis the movement is 0 and x axis the movement has to the right side the 20 pixels. So I would like to move it now to the left side and 200 pixels you can see now it's moving towards the left side. Similarly if I want to move it on the y axis I will mention the pixels. I will mention a position and in pixels form now it will move towards the down side, downwards. And now I will move it upward and will use minus values you can see that. So translate has uh, taken the x value and the y value. Now it's a combination of x and y values. So we can assign these x and y values as separately by using the translate x and translate x will take. Now let me first move it towards its original position. Translate x now I would like to move 300 pixels towards left only one value and now I would like to move towards the left uh, towards the left first towards the right and now towards the 
uh, left side and will use the minus values you can see similarly if i would if i like to assign only the y value you can use the translate y and a positive or negative value you can see and now 200 you can notice that so translate uh, and translate x and translate y translate is a combination of translate x and translate y now we will move towards the scale part scale also takes uh, two values in number form it ta it takes only numbers and without any unit so if i like uh, if i write two or three two so this is the width and this is the height with scale we can change the size of an element so now we are changing the size of uh, our div of this div so two is uh, width of this div and three is height of this div but how the original uh, the original width of this div that is 200 pixels the original uh, this is the width of the element of our div and 200 pixels will be multiplied by this number so this means that 200 uh, the original width multiply multiply by 2 and this means the original height multiplied by 3 the height is now 200 pixels and it will be multiplied by 3 so 2 times the width of this div and 3 times the height of this div and now let me show you what happens you can see the height has uh, multiplied by uh, 3 and the width is doubled if I write 2 now you can see it is double the size in both directions if I write 1 now it will remain the same similarly it is also a combination this scale is also a combination of uh, scale x and scale y in scale x if I write 2 it will only be increasing the size in x axis only in the width will be increasing you can see the width is now double if I write 3 the width is now triple okay similarly if I write y and write here 2 now x axis will not be affecting the width will not be affecting and only the height will be affected you can see that so now scale we know that uh, we came to know that the scale is a combination of scale x and scale y as well now we will move toward the skew part skew takes uh, two values that is x and y but in degree form it also takes uh, degrees skew uh, skews an element it turns an element uh, it places an element uh, and a mentioned degrees you can see if I write here 30 degree and write here uh, 50 degree let me show you you can turn this element and you are mentioned degrees so it, here it is difficult to understand how it changes it let me inspect this div and this div and let me show you I will increase size of font this is our style which uh, in uh, where we applied uh, 30 degree x and 50 degree y value so these are the x degrees and these are the y degrees I would like to make it 0 and make this one as zero as well so that we can uh, notice the change and move uh, change it to its original position let me press the up arrow key and increase uh, the x degrees you can see it is turning the element in this direction and now in the opposite direction i will move towards the negative values 
you can see there now let me make it a zero and now we would like to show you how y degrees can change uh, the element so now i am pressing the up arrow key and you can see on y axis the degrees can affect the element and now down arrow key and we'll move towards the negative and you can see on the same y axis but in opposite direction so this was about the skew and i will show you that skew is also a combination of skew x and skew y but skew x and skew y will then take only one value and not two values if i write the skew x first and let me change you can see same is effect but only in one direction similarly if i write 0 and y part so now changing these values you can notice that so this was about the let me come here and remove this let me refresh and you can see the original div okay guys now the matrix and matrix takes uh, six values but these six values we have uh, already learned and i will show you matrix can take the scale x matrix text scale x and uh, skew y skew x shit and scale y and uh, at la last two are the translate x translate y so these six values we already learned in this tutorial uh, up to here and i would like you to apply the matrix by yourself for your practice purpose so uh, leave your comments uh, about this practice and i will uh, i would like i will i would like to uh, know about your practice of this matrix so try to apply this matrix and i will not use it in here so these are the six values the trans the scale x skew y skew x scale y translate x and a translate y and try to uh, change these values uh, accordingly and uh, try the matrix by yourself similarly these uh, this is about the transform and now the transform origin so for the transform origin i will use the scale part again so that you can understand the transform origin let me first tell you that the transform origin means that uh, from where the transformation is getting started from where is the origin point of the transformation which we are applying on the element so it is taking a value as center by default and i would like to show this refresh and scale i will apply 2 and 2 you can see center by center center is the starting point for this scaling and if i write uh, as one and one and made it the same size and write the left now so now it will start the origin point will not be the center but will be the left and the element will be scaling towards the right side let me uh, increase the uh, width so you can see three times the width that is 600 pixels but the left side will not be affected you can see this side will remain the same and only will move towards the right similarly i can use the right and it will move towards the left side you can see that 
similarly if I write it again and write here the top and now want to increase the height and that is if I write the height as 2 so you will see that the top will not be affected and the element will be increased in downward side that is you can see that so this was about uh, the tutorial uh, 2d transform css3 2d transform keep watching my tutorials in the next tutorial we will be learning about the 3d, 3D transform and uh, please leave your comments about the practice of uh, which i left on you uh, about the matrix and uh, stay tuned write comment and subscribe my channel thanks for now